Hey, Simon here, and today we look at how to create a blurred version of an image for a background, for example, uh, in code in Godot. Um, just a little uh, pre information. When you Google this, for example, for Blender, they use, here you can see a blurred version, they use often a white noise for that. And this works in Blender, I think, because they have better until using or something or sampling, and then it looks really good. I tried this in a shader in Godot as well, but it didn't work. It was still very, very very noisy. I couldn't hide that. That's why I do it now in code. And uh, just so you know, um, this is how it looked uh, before. So here's uh, our image. And before, actually, I was uh, storing a blurred version of this image, which I blurred in GIMP. And uh, it's actually very small. But uh, yeah, I still wanted to get uh, get uh, get rid of this step to open a um, program and then make a sharp version from the original image. I wanted to do it on the fly. So here uh, we see the code, and what I'm actually doing is very simple. I'm just um, here. I uh, create a new image, and I'm uh, the image is called underscore blurred, and I just make a copy from the sharp image. The sharp image uh, is here. I assign it basically directly yeah. so no no special thing if you want to see here this is my resource and here I assign the sharp image and this I want to get rid of so I assign the image no no big problem and then uh, what it is I ah, yeah, we make a copy we just copy and paste it into this new image here and then and this is important you cannot here uh, we assign the actual blurred texture then uh, to the uh, yeah, to to this to this variable as a texture, and there is an in between step you have to do. You have to create an image texture, and then create from image, and this image is this one which we just blurred basically. So um, the actual uh, important information here is the the how to blur it. And what I'm doing is I'm sizing it down, resize to a very small size, 16 by 9. And um, actually, I used the Lancos or Lanxos uh, interpolation, and this looks then like this. Uh, actually, it's not uh, not very beautiful. We can see here there is uh, very ugly linear stuff happening. You know, a linear interpolation is not super happy. But then we interpolate it again. This time a little bit bigger, not too big. Also 64 by 30, uh, uh, 36, so that's not too much. And then here also the uh, this interpolation mode which is the slowest but highest quality and now it looks very nice right it looks super super soft as I would have done it in blender and uh, just as a little comparison uh, this would be this would be uh, when you use bilinear uh, uh, interpolation so we see it's quite chunky not so beautiful if you do not have mip maps on your picture, which I don't, then uh, the trilinear interpolation doesn't change anything. It looks exactly like bilinear. But if you have mip maps, it looks like this. So here uh, it blends not only between the pixels, but also between the different mip maps and uh, doesn't look so good either. Uh, this is cubic interpolation. Looks already better. It's nice, uh, nice uh, round. But if you compare it with this, this is of course the best one. And this is what we use here. Uh, and if you uh, check it out, it says uh, here um, slowest image resizing, blah, 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 but gives best results. And in my case, oh, oh, and here that's also good, especially for downscaling images. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And um, I do this only once. I, you know, uh, when I'm in it, this little resource, I just blur my image. And yeah, that's perfect. So now I don't have to do this manually. I can get rid of this. Uh, this blurred version and that's very very nice and uh, maybe it helps you in your project too. Bye bye